so I'm gonna be completely honest here with you guys. Um, when this announcement first came out, I was very excited about it. I mean, listen, The Legend of Zelda, I know I don't talk about it as much as I would like to, that's because I'm usually focused on Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy, but The Legend of Zelda is my third favorite video game franchise behind Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. I love The Legend of Zelda. My favorite Legend of Zelda is probably Twilight Princess, uh, but I, I do love this franchise. It, it is absolutely one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. So, when this announcement came out, I was super excited, but I have to be completely honest here. I was not surprised at all about this announcement, because if we go back to earlier this year with the Mario movie, the Mario movie was super, 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 super successful, came out of the gate successful, was a surprise success, and so I think with that movie being such a success, I think it was pretty obvious that we were going to get more Nintendo related movies coming out. And of course you go from Mario being the poster boy of Nintendo, what's the next logical step? Well, the next logical step would be Nintendo's other face of their company, which of course would be Link, which would be The Legend of Zelda. And a lot of people are wondering, okay, like what's gonna happen here? Are we gonna get like an animated film like we do with Mario, or are we gonna get a live action film? And it is confirmed today that we are going to be getting a live action film of The Legend of Zelda. So let's go ahead and jump into this article uh, on Nintendo's official website. It says, development of a live action film of The Legend of Zelda to start. Nintendo today announced that it will develop a live action film of The Legend of Zelda. The film will be produced by Shigeru Miyamoto, which I think is very, 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 very important because what you gotta understand about Nintendo and you gotta understand about their properties is that a lot of the people over there are storytellers, they're creatives, they understand these games, they understand the characters, and I think having someone like Miyamoto directly involved in the production of this movie is super important. That way it's not just The Legend of Zelda in name only, it actually feels like the game, and it feels like the characters that we all know and love, and it actually captures the magic of what makes The Legend of Zelda so appealing to so many people. So I think having Miyamoto involved is very, very important. And to be honest with you, I'm not that worried about this movie being good because the Mario movie was so freaking good. And I think they're going to keep up the level of quality going into this film. The film will be produced by Shigeru Miyamoto, representative director and fellow of Nintendo, and Avi Arad, chairman of Arad Productions, who has produced many mega hit films. This is very, very important, you guys. Because Avi Arad, if you don't know who that is, he was involved in the MCU. He was there with Kevin Feige. He was involved in the MCU. He's been a part of many really good films. He's a big name, people. He's a big name. So having him involved with this movie tells me that they're going to go all out with this. All right, there, there's going to be no... That there, there, there's going to be uh, no, nothing's going to be beyond the expense of this film. They're going to put in the money. They're going to put in the resources. They're going to put in the whatever they need to make this film really pop and to stand out and to be good. They're going to go for it. So there's a lot of good things here. There's a lot of good stuff here. So the film will be produced by Nintendo and Arad Productions and directed by Wes Ball. The film will be co-financed by Nintendo and Sony Pictures Entertainment with more than 50% financed by Nintendo. The theatrical distribution of the film will be done worldwide by Sony Pictures Entertainment, which is kind of interesting and kind of strange. I'm not going to lie. First of all, seeing Nintendo and Sony team up like that, unexpected, unexpected. Um, didn't see that one coming to be honest with you, but hey, it looks like, uh, you know, Sony and Nintendo are finally joining forces, obviously not in the video game sphere, but in the, um, uh, in, in the film sphere. So, so that's interesting. But what I do find a bit to be confusing about this is that the Mario movie was distributed by Universal. 
So is there some kind of falling out between Nintendo and Universal? I'm not really sure. Universal has kind of been on a roll lately with successes like the Mario film. Um, and I'm a little bit confused here as to why they're going to Sony um, to make this movie. Because, again, Sony is technically their competitor. And also, they've already worked with Universal. So I am very confused about this. And I would like some clarification as to why they're not going back to Universal to make this movie. Because, in all honesty... Now, what they could do here, and I, I think this would be pretty damn awesome, is that they could have a connected Nintendo cinematic universe that eventually leads up to a Super Smash Brothers movie in the same vein as the MCU. And again, getting Avi Arad to help with the production of this movie, getting him involved in all this, you know, that could be maybe hints of an MCU type of plan. But at the same time, if they're going to Sony to make this film, whereas they went with Universal... For Mario, you're working with two different companies, you're going to start getting into a lot of legal issues that may make it very difficult to actually create a Super Smash Brothers movie because one of the issues um, going into the MCU and trying to produce uh, specifically more Hulk films, Hulk solo films, is that uh, the original Hulk film that is part of the MCU continuity was done by, I believe it was Paramount or Universal, I forget which one, I, I want to say it was Paramount though, and um, so when Disney bought the rights to Marvel and the MCU, uh, they didn't technically get the rights to make a solo Hulk film because that still remained with uh, Paramount. So there was always some kind of chain there, something holding back their ability to really use the Hulk character to the fullest. And I feel like if you start having these crisscrosses with different companies in the film industry, you could be holding yourself back from doing as much as you could do with these Nintendo characters and lead up to something like a Super Smash Brothers movie. The article does go on to say that by producing visual contents of Nintendo IP by itself, Nintendo is creating new opportunities to have people from around the world to access the world of entertainment, which Nintendo has built through different means apart from its dedicated game consoles. By getting deep Deeply involved in the movie production with the aim to put smiles on everyone's faces through entertainment, Nintendo will continue its efforts to produce unique entertainment and deliver it to as many people as possible. So in other words, they're trying to reach a new audience outside of the video game sphere, and this will definitely do it. Um, I know a lot of people who have become Sonic fans thanks to the live-action Sonic the Hedgehog films, and you know, let's not forget about the blue blur, because I think a lot of this stuff when it comes to the success that video game movies are seeing is because of those Sonic films that original sonic film was a a huge success and uh because of that i think it really showed the market and it showed a lot of people working in the industry that hey video game movies can work they have failed tremendously in the past but they actually can work when you actually stick to the spirit of the games. And so I feel like they did that with the Sonic the Hedgehog movies. I feel like the Sonic in those movies is definitely in line with the spirit of Sonic from the games. Same thing with the Mario movie. Um, even Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu was also something that was very, very good and was a video game movie. So there's something happening here, something big. And, you know, for a long time... Hollywood has been dominated by superheroes. It's been superheroes, superheroes, superheroes for a very long time. And people have been wondering, are people becoming apathetic to superhero films? And if they are, if we see the age of superhero movies receding, what is going to take its place? And I don't know, man. It's looking like it might end up being video game films. Video game films could be the next superhero films, the next phenomenon uh, akin to superhero films. And I'm all for it, man. I, I really am because I've been a gamer since I was a kid. I started playing with Sonic the Hedgehog 2. That was my first video game. My first video game console was the Sega Genesis. Um, I would eventually move on to PlayStation um, and eventually Nintendo as well. And... I've been a gamer my whole life, so to see video game movies come out, to see them be done, and to see them finally, most importantly, be done well, I'm very, very happy to see, and I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, we'll talk more about this in the future, you know, I want to talk about, like, who 
I would cast as Link, who I would cast as Zelda, who I would cast as uh, Ganondorf or Ganon. I want to talk about all of that, and I will make separate videos to discuss uh, more about this film. But I did want to get my initial thoughts on this. Very, very excited. I'm not surprised about it at all, but I'm super excited about this. And I can't wait to see what we're going to get. Oh, this is going to be cool, man. This is going to be fun. So tell me what your thoughts are on the live action Legend of Zelda film that is in development. Are you excited about this? And give me some of your casting picks down in the comments as well. I'd be very interested to see that. And also remember, hey, we're talking about video games. I do have a gaming channel. Go check it out. It's down in the description box down below, along with other things like my Patreon, etc., etc. Go check those things out. All right, until the next one, this is Jessica James with a Z signing off. Thank you.